Every year, there is a new trend. And if you play your cards right, you will make more money than 99% of people. But trends are also very dangerous. You can catch a trend early, make a ton of money, but eventually the trend will end. So just hopping trend to trend and starting a new business every year is not a winning strategy. So listen closely. Today, I'm gonna share three things. First, what the potential trends are. Second, what I think the next big trend in 2024 is going to be. And third, how I plan to capitalize on this year's trend. Then at the end, I'm gonna share my strategy on how I capitalize on every trend every year without changing my business. People dumber than you are making millions of dollars. And any excuse you have for not making a lot of money online is a lie. As long as you have an internet connection and a laptop, it's possible. I've seen so many people do it. A crucial step of actually becoming successful in an online business is removing built-in excuses and just taking action. Because sure, your friends, your family, your parents, they might say it's impossible, but that's because 30 years ago, it was. Now is the first time in human history that people in their 20s are becoming self-made millionaires. Think about it. If you wanted to start a business before the internet, the amount of built-in overhead that it cost to actually launch a business made it very difficult. Let's say you wanted to sell hula hoops 30 years ago. First, you need a spare million dollars lying around for a national TV advertisement campaign. It was either every TV in America or none. Then you'd need thousands of dollars to pay a camera crew to shoot the ad. And then not to mention, you would need to actually go out and manufacture 100,000 hula hoops before the campaign went live. All risk up front and a ton of financial investment. It would have cost you a few million dollars before you ever even got your foot in the door. So it makes perfect sense why most adults don't see you becoming a young, rich, successful business owner as a realistic goal because for them, it wasn't. But now you can do the exact same thing for like a hundred bucks. All you need to do is set up some simple ads on Facebook and contact a supplier to fulfill your order. And because of this, dropshipping became a huge online trend in 2019. You see, once a new technology becomes available and lowers the barrier to entry, it's no longer just the billion dollar companies competing. It's the average man or woman. I call these moments equalizers because for the first time, anyone can become successful. And right now we're in the middle of an equalizer and you're in a perfect middle ground. We're gonna be one of the first to discover this new hyper-efficient way to operate while most of the competition hasn't figured it out yet. What you do with this information is your choice. I can't do the work for you, but I promise that if you stick with this, you will make more money than you can imagine because it's just like every other business opportunity. The earlier you discover it, the more money you make. But you do have to act fast because naturally in competitive markets, when the barrier to entry lowers, it becomes harder and harder to succeed. And that's what happened to drop shipping. Thousands of people are now selling the exact same product with the exact same store templates. And the new entrants are going up against the long-term players with hundreds of thousands of dollars at their disposal just to test a product. I've observed something interesting and it's that there aren't many opportunities like this left. The internet has fully democratized just about every business model, which means this may actually be one of the last real opportunities to make money online. So with that said, let's see what some of the potential trends are for 2024. And remember, for something to be a trend, it needs to be a new underlying technology with an opportunity to make money that anyone can do. The TikTok creativity program and TikTok shop are great opportunities to make money, but it's still kind of just drop shipping with a different platform. So so it's not new enough to make a lot of noise in my opinion. Next is VR or virtual reality. And in the future, I believe most people will choose to live and work in the digital world. And with Apple's new Vision Pro headset coming out, I think a lot of people will get their first taste of it. But at a price point of $4,000, that's not really something that anyone can do. Now, crypto is getting a lot of attention with Bitcoin's recent ETF approval and blockchain is gonna be the new underlying fabric of the internet. But the network are just too slow for the masses right now. So the underlying technology still needs a few years before there's an equalizer. In 2023, the trend was AI, but AI is not like a normal trend. 
This is just the start of AI. AI is different because it isn't just a business model that you like set up once. AI will progress and it will fundamentally change the way we live and interact with our world. As AI evolves, this will spark many different trends. The first one was ChatGPT. This democratized written content, but that's just stage one. Now we are seeing AI video start to take over. This year, we will start to see a new trend in AI. This is what I call AI companions. People will start forming relationships with their AI, whether it's an AI influencer like little Michaela or an AI girlfriend or OnlyFans model, or what most of you will see is your favorite influencer will have their own AI companion that you can interact with. This will emphasize the importance of starting a personal brand now because once AI companions start rolling out, it's gonna be almost impossible to stand out. And TikTok will be flooded with AI influencers. So these are some potential trends we could see in 2024. TikTok creativity program, the chat GPT store, VR, crypto gaming, or AI companions. But I don't think any of these will be the trend in 2024. There is actually something much bigger that is happening right now that will affect all of these trends. Let me explain. There are four types of products. Physical products like clothes, technology, and cars. Info products such as courses, newsletters, and communities. Media entertainment products such as podcasts, YouTube, and Netflix. And software products like Zoom, Facebook, and other apps. Business trends don't happen because a new business model is invented. They happen because an existing business model becomes accessible to the everyday person, aka it becomes democratized by technology. In the 90s, there were 50 TV channels owned by only six companies, and 98% of Americans had a TV. Literally 50 million people would be watching the same TV show at the same time. This was a billion dollar market and it was only split between six companies. There was very little variety and no choice. But then YouTube came around and now we have over 300 million channels to choose from. In the 90s, we had one channel that covered history and it was called the History Channel. Now we have channels dedicated to ancient cave paintings of Southern Africa. These channels are now hyper niche specific. So instead of six companies making a billion dollars each, we now have thousands of creators making a million dollars each. Technology shattered the market, turning six large pieces of the pie into millions of bite-sized businesses that anyone could get in on. YouTube democratized media entertainment products. Shopify and AliExpress democratized physical products. And then ClickFunnels, Discord, and Beehive democratized info products. So three out of the four types of products have already been democratized and they were democratized by the fourth type of product, software. But here's where it gets interesting. Software itself hasn't been democratized yet. The few companies who have figured it out are hoarding billions of dollars of value right now. And if you look at the facts, eight out of the 10 richest people in the world right now got their start in software. Since it is so high leverage and infinitely scalable, SaaS is the most profitable business model ever discovered. Software is the last domino to fall until every type of business has been democratized. And that domino is falling. Traditionally, the biggest barrier has been that you needed expert developers, stacks of physical servers, and a lot of money, which made it a really hard business, especially for beginners. But not anymore. You see, every software feature you can think of has been built. And these features are now available for you to plug into your app. These pre-built features make it easy for anyone to build software without spending hours coding from scratch. You just pick a pre-built feature and then plug it in. It's a lot like Shopify and their app store. First, you make your Shopify store with one of their templates. Then if you want added features, you go to the Shopify app store and pay to include it. If you want an affiliate program, you use Social Snowball. More detailed analytics, triple whale. But instead of plugins for a Shopify store, you're building a SaaS product. What Shopify did to physical products, no code tools are doing to software products. These pre-built features are called APIs and no code APIs have democratized SaaS and non-technical people are figuring out they can get in on the action. It's a new technological advancement. It's a huge opportunity to make money. And now 
anyone can do it, which is why we are seeing a meteoric rise in the interest in SaaS. Google Trends keyword SaaS for YouTube search is at an all time high and it looks ready to break out. YouTube search is important because this is where people go to learn and it's a reflection of their curiosity. SaaS has been around for well over 20 years. So this interest and in growth is not normal. Now looking on YouTube, we see that over 3 million people have searched the word SaaS this month alone, but almost no content exists on it. Meaning this market is wide open for content creators. Using TubeBuddy's search explorer tool, we can see that SaaS is a 99 out of 100 keyword to target, which I have never seen before. And for reference, SaaS is searched the exact same amount as dropshipping, but dropshipping content is highly competitive, only getting a 19 out of 100. And only 1 million people even searched for the word agency this month. So for me, these are a clear sign that there is a lot of interest in SaaS right now. Now you're probably wondering what the next big opportunity is. And if you watch my channel, you're probably thinking that I'm about to say software, but that actually isn't it. Well, kinda. You see, well, I think software is objectively the best business model because of its high exit multiples and the monthly recurring revenue, most people don't have the marketing skills to sell a software to the masses. And trying to build some complicated software that solves a big problem isn't easy. Even with no code tools like Bubble, it goes against everything I've said about competing with industry giants. Take Zoom, for example. If the average man try to outcompete Zoom by making another video calling platform from their laptop, they'd get crushed. Zoom has thousands of employees, full-time service reps, and literally billions of dollars to spend. It would be foolish to try to beat them at their own game because they're already an established player. But what if instead of trying to beat the tech giants, you just focused on solving a very specific problem for a niche group of people. And that's where micro SaaS comes into play. With micro SaaS, you carve out your own section of the market and solve a specific problem better than anyone else. And we're living in the perfect time to succeed with micro SaaS because you don't even need to know how to code anymore. The barrier to entry has never been lower and now anyone can compete. It's the exact same thing that happened with the TV industry. In the past, big TV networks were giant in the world of television, just like big SaaS companies are now. But soon we will see very small, very niche SaaS apps servicing niche markets, where the value accrual will spread across many players, or what I call micro SaaS. It's a smaller, more flexible version of traditional SaaS. With micro SaaS, you really only need one person to start, all because you're focusing on one specific type of customer and you don't need to market to millions of people. And if you're still not not clear on what micro SaaS is, let me explain. Micro SaaS companies make hyper specific software for niche needs. They usually cost less to run, are managed by small teams or even just one person, focus on a niche group of customers and use existing pre-built features to build their software. And now there are tons of no-code tools that lets anyone build micro SaaS without needing any knowledge of programming. AKA, we're in the middle of an equalizer. The playing field is finally even. In 2024, I believe the next big trend is going to be micro SaaS, and that's why I'm all in. But before I share my plan to make millions in the micro SaaS trend, I want you to understand this. With micro SaaS, you're only competing for a small share in the market by creating a specific niche product and using that to make a million dollars, which means the competition will be much lower. These small opportunities don't make sense for venture capitalists to invest in because they're going for high growth, multi-billion dollar exits. Even though they can make $100,000 a month profit, traditional software founders just don't pursue them. So you are swimming in a blue lake. My favorite example of a micro SaaS is this website, woodyou.click. And all it does is let me see my YouTube titles and thumbnails next to my competitors on a fake YouTube home feed. A super specific problem, but super helpful. So I'm happy to pay $5 a month. Heck, I would even pay $20 a month for this. So if you were to solve a similar problem like this, all it would take is 500 customers paying you $20 to make $10,000 a month. No mass marketing, no huge teams, no learning how to code. Just a simple, straightforward solution to a specific problem. And 500 users is not unrealistic. I know thousands of people use woodyou.click. By no means is it a billion dollar company, but $30,000 a month for the solopreneur who built it is a great life. 
And that is the shift we are seeing. Micro SaaS is a lifestyle business that can get you location freedom so you can work from anywhere you want, time freedom to spend with your family and loved ones, and financial freedom to drive nice cars, travel, and pay any bills you need to. But let's get something clear. If your aim is to build a $100 million SaaS company, then it's going to be hard. It's gonna require employees, stress, and headache. It's definitely possible, but not easy. All you have to do is learn how to use no-code tools, do some small marketing and solve a small problem, and start earning a comfortable six-figure income from anywhere in the world. And the great thing about SaaS is if you solve someone's problem well, and they start using it, they really have no reason to ever stop. And since SaaS is a monthly subscription, you get paid basically forever. SaaS brings dependable, consistent revenue with infinite upside and scalability. Of course, it requires a lot of learning, hard work, and creativity, but so does every business. There is no such thing as an easy business, but it's clear that SaaS is the best business model. So no wonder there's a growing interest amongst business owners. I don't know if SaaS is becoming so popular because business models like dropshipping and SMMA have become stale, they don't feel like real businesses or what, but everyone in my network has gravitated towards SaaS. Yet zero people are making YouTube content on it, which must mean it's working. And that's why I'm making this video for you. I genuinely believe the big trend in 2024 will be micro SaaS. Just look at Iman Godzi, Alex Becker, Sam Ovens. What do they all have in common? They're working on software businesses. And a lot of everyday people are realizing that they can do the same without needing to code. They just solve a problem in their niche and start a micro SaaS. Traditionally, hard code developers have spent their whole life learning code. They are living and breathing the developer world. So they only see developer problems, which makes SaaS feel super competitive to them. Developers see developer problems, but since they're all developers, they all go fix it. So your edge is that you understand your niche better than anyone else. And odds are no one in your niche knows how to build SaaS. So if you see a small problem, you will probably be the only one to fix it. Then just use your existing network to get your first few customers. And if they like it, they will naturally share it with their peers. And boom, your micro SaaS is in business. This is what I just did with our AI micro SaaS revamped. I really struggle posting my content on all platforms. I spend so much time writing just YouTube videos that I barely have any left to rewrite them for Twitter, LinkedIn, or even short form. So we created an AI tool that can transform any of my YouTube videos into any form of content in one click. We built it with absolutely zero code and just use a drag and drop template to get started. This isn't gonna be a billion dollar company, but it's a nice six figure SaaS that helps me. And odds are it will help other content creators as well. I was just like you. I hated the idea of working a nine to five and never really being free. Free to buy what I want, free to travel where I want and free to work when I want. Luckily, after years of pain and hard work, I managed to catch a new trend early and make my first million dollars. I didn't have anyone telling me what to do or what business model to focus on. I just figured it out through trial and error. And this guessing cost me 30 thousand dollars and six months on my first SaaS app poppin but you don't have to make the same mistakes i did now you have a chance to take years off your entrepreneurship journey and start making money within the next few months but that's only going to happen with the right information so we've created a new program to help teach you how to become a future dev and give you all the information you need to build your micro SaaS without any code we have discovered a brand new approach to building SaaS by using pre-built features so you don't have to build everything yourself. In other words, we'll be giving you the chance to go from complete beginner to being able to build any software idea you like in just a few weeks. So if you wanna learn how to build micro SaaS with zero code, click the link below and join the Future Dev program. This is the most cost efficient and time efficient way to build SaaS in 2024. And becoming a future dev sets you up perfectly to sell shovels because SaaS is a shovel for any industry, no matter the trend. Remember, I can't see the future. I'm just observing data, but I see the wave coming where SaaS itself is the trend. So this is how I plan to capitalize on it in 2024. A few months ago, we pivoted our hard code dev agency to a no code dev agency because we can build the exact same quality of software much more efficiently. Then we changed to the productized model. So now we can charge a flat monthly fee to build any software MVP. Then if we like the idea, we negotiate an equity split, making this extremely high leverage. We just have to build it 
then they go out and sell it. So this is my plan for 2024. Build SaaS for other people with our productized no-code agency. Then take that money and use it to grow our AI micro SaaS revamp. The way that I see it is that most people realize AI, blockchain, VR, or any of these upcoming trends will require development. That's why we are seeing a huge wave of people wanting to get in on the action. Every creator wants to build SaaS right now, but most people either don't realize they can do it for themselves yet, or they're just too busy and would rather pay an agency to do it for them. I have had a dev agency for three years and I have never had more people coming to me wanting to build SaaS. I recommend starting a productized no-code agency because you will generate cash flow by building creators their SaaS. Then you can negotiate equity with the creator where you will build it and then they will do all of the selling. Then at the same time, if you want, you are building your own micro SaaS in the background while you're generating cash flow. Your agency pays the bills in the short term and then your micro SaaS gives you freedom in the long run. So for those of you that want to use your new no-code skills to build software for other businesses, we've also included a full productized agency playbook inside of the WGMI Academy. This will show you how to set up all of the productized systems, how to set up your offer, and give you everything you need to get your high leverage productized agency up and running as fast as possible. Just follow along and you'll have the entire business model set up and you'll be ready to take payments and start getting clients. So that's my plan to capitalize on the trend in 2024. Now, how do I capitalize on every trend every year without switching businesses? So let's say SaaS itself isn't the big trend in 2024. Let's say it's AI companions. Well, guess what? Our business is just a software development agency and AI companions are software. We are just developing software our clients ask us for. We're not starting a new business in each trend. We are just pivoting our messaging based on whatever is hot in the market. If AI is hot, we are an AI software development agency. If blockchain is hot, we are a blockchain software dev agency. It's just marketing. This is how we are able to capitalize on every trend every year with the same business. Everyone will need software, no matter the trend. And of course, that applies to any skill you have. You don't have to build software. It's just what I think is the most valuable and will make the most money. If your universal skill is copywriting, video, design, just start a productized agency and then position yourself in the trend. And that's what our productized agency playbook will help you do. So go to wgmiacademy.io if you want to learn more. Now, if you're still skeptical about the business model of micro SaaS, my friend Oliver was making a million dollars a month with his e-commerce brand by selling chocolate. But he decided to sell that company and start a micro SaaS called Study Buddy. It's a simple Chrome extension that automatically fills in college kids' homework. Really straightforward, but solves a pain point for lazy college kids. And within a couple of months, he's already making $25,000 a month. Why would he do this? Well, making a million dollars a month in revenue with a physical product is not as much as you'd think. First, you have to make the product, package it, and then ship it to the customer. Then you have to pay for marketing and your employees. So the profit margins are very low for a lot of work. But with SaaS, profit margins can be over 90% since it costs basically nothing to sign up a new user and deliver the product. That's why Oliver jumped in head first, even though he had no experience with SaaS. SaaS is objectively the best business model. And just to show you how simple it is to build SaaS in 2024, I had my business partner make a case study showing you exactly how we built our AI micro SaaS revamped without any code. Just DM me the word universal on Instagram at thebrettway.eth and I will send it to you for free. This will also enter you into our last $500 giveaway for watching this video live. In a few years, everyone will be able to make their own micro SaaS and independent creators will create a copy paste SaaS to offer to their audience. And so we're seeing a shift where your personal brand is your TAM. And so it's not gonna be about one company monopolizing the entire industry. Soon, people are gonna go with whatever product the influencer that they trust recommends. And eventually every nick and cranny will have competitors. But right now, very few people know that micro SaaS exists. That's why some people who joined our no code SaaS community earlier this year have been able to succeed. Nils joined our community with no development experience at all. And just a few months later, he built his micro SaaS 
BibleMate. Now he has hundreds of users and he even won a $25,000 prize at a local hackathon. Another student went from no coding experience at all to launching his AI SaaS Clipcision, an AI powered YouTube channel assistant that already has over 70 users. And there are a dozen stories just like this in the WGMI Academy. Normal people that just took action, learned how to become a future dev and launched their micro SaaS with no code. Now, this is not the typical result. And these people are definitely not average. Out of over 22,000 people who have joined, only 192 people actually finished the program. But those 1% that did, have now built and launched their micro SaaS. And the sad thing is over 83% of people who joined didn't even bother to watch a single video. Yes, this is the actual data. Most people just say they're gonna do something, then never take action, no matter how good the opportunity is. So I share this with you to say that it's not going to be easy, but that it's possible. And we are here to help guide you. So if you are serious about building SaaS and you want to be in that top 1%, click the link below, sign up for the WHMI Academy and become a future dev today. We have a 14 day money back guarantee. So if you join and realize it's not for you, no worries. We will send you 100% of your money back, no questions asked. Now, of course, making content in a trend is one of the most important steps. This will set your micro SaaS apart and set you up for a successful launch. So for anyone who wants to learn how to make content in the next trend, we will be regularly adding new programs to the platform, including my upcoming program, Creatorize, where I will personally teach you how to create content for your personal brand. This will be coming out in the near future, but we will be raising the price when that drops. So if you wanna to join today, you will be locked in to the current annual rate for life. So go to wgmiacademy.io right now and get started today. I'd love to see you in our community. I want to thank everyone for tuning into The Great Equalizer and a sincere thank you to all of you who have supported me. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and one last thing to all the WGMI holders who got us here. I'm super excited to announce that all of you will have access to the WGMI Academy for all of 2024. 